which is the most hated moves in wrestling history. So I'm going to start this one off. I got one move and one move only, which should be banned. It should be banned from wrestling today, tomorrow, in the past, and forever. This move should never make his way back into wrestling history but somehow some way it squeaks his way back into each into a match where we least expect it and it seems like uh wrestling it seems like the WWE when at times when they don't have like a a creative way to end a match or or when they're trying to not like uh hinder both wrestlers from like i guess both of their builds they if this this move somehow makes its way into that match you know what move i'm talking about do you know what move i'm talking about no i'm very curious because you you i have never heard you ever complain about a wrestling move, so this is, i'm very curious it's the sad roll-up pin lord why is the roll-up pin in the wwe <laughs> like it should not even be in the move set it shouldn't even be a part of wrestling games nobody wants to use the roll-up pin and somehow some way we still see the roll-up pin and we still see people get pinned to three with a roll-up pin you telling me Wrestlers can kick out the Sweet Chan music 10 times, the Tombstone Pile Driver two times, the F5, and somehow, some way, we supposed to believe that person was was able wasn't able to kick out the roll up pin. Come on, people. Come on. I don't understand how we, this move is still in in wrestling today. But that's my only move. That's the only move I can't stand. And it don't make any sense to me. <laughs> how does the roll up pin work still like what you telling me that person kicked out the tombstone the spear the, like what like what other move and like and they can pick kick out the roll up pin oh my god <laughs> i feel you on that one man because it's it's like it feels like it's one of those quick moves you do to kill time and it's like it's in like this like if it's used to like actually end matches i'm like bro we couldn't think of anything man nothing oh my god yeah it's terrible every time i see it like i can't i recently seen it and i was and i think i i think i mentioned it in the podcast i can't remember what it was from it was probably one of these sasha banks matches oh, or something like that or something happened i remember I, just, I remember it's when um Shayna baser versus becky lynch oh my Roll up gosh and win oh my gosh uh, yes when i seen that i mentioned that when we when we talked about wrestlemania i was like out of all things see no exactly Shayna baszler dominated an elimination chamber and somehow some way she lost to a roll-up pin by becky lynch you supposed to make me believe that and she did mma fighting come on now like some somebody these writers need to get get on their stuff at times man hey man these are the same guys that somehow got you eliminated in the hell in the cell match oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so. laughs> oh man, yeah. I have no idea. But what's your most hated moves in wrestling history? So this most hated move is pretty much if it's in a cage, you're gonna see it. I despise it because people do it way too often and it makes me mad to see it. And I get mad when I see it happen at ringside. I get mad every time because it just be like, bro, it's cool the first time, but when you do it a thousand times, it's like, God dang it, man. It just makes people look dumb. Hmm. And the one I'm talking about is every time someone lines two people up or multiple people for one guy to jump off really high just for a guy to catch him. I'm like, hmm. why would you do that? Why? It, just, it makes me mad because it's like, it, start, it makes less sense the more I see it. Because I'm like, bro, couldn't you? understandably like we understand that wrestling is predetermined fi finishes and stuff like that mm -hmm. but you're adding in a move where i have to pretty much line up and catch you mm -hmm. why would i do that if i'm the heel i could just step to the side and let you just fall to the ground man <laughs> yeah. and i and i hate to see this and i hate it every time i see it because every time i see someone climb to the very tip top of the, of the cage 
of the elimination chamber. All the dudes just happen to be lined up to catch you. Like, come on, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's happening in NXT. It's mm-hmm. happening in rest- elimination chambers. Every time the luchador goes up, well, uh, we already know what to expect. Well, let's watch everybody be spilled out. Oh, God. And it's crazy. Every time the person does this, he always gets eliminated or, or is the one to lose. So I'm just like, why do you keep doing this, man? Take this move out. The worst Don't time, let people do it. The worst time I see is when the, the wrestlers who are getting ready to like let him splash on them pretty much or jump on him is when they all look, they all like turn their head and then look at him and they're just like, Oh, they're just like, they can't move. They can't move. Oh, what are you? Y'all just, just like, because Cuz have a trap card, man? Yo, does he have this? Everybody's ankle lock on the spot? Like, I have to know. Oh, man. It's like, they gotta, they. it's gotta be done right. If they do, I mean, yeah, they do it a lot. They do it too much now, but it's always worse when they don't, they don't time it out right. Like, if the timing was a lot better where let's say they actually didn't notice he was up on the cage or something like that and he jumped on them but most of the time nowadays they be literally staring at him almost as he gets to the top and then they just wait to see him jump on them and it's like those are the worst ones it's like <laughs> the timing got to they got to work on the timing with that Yo, and then if you want to like look at a really bad time this happened, it was during the elimination chamber, right? Right. And Johnny Nitro was on the ground. Like the camera wasn't supposed to be on him on him like that, but you could see him, right? And you could see him like, oh no, I'm about to get what's happening. He's like looking around, like, wait, wait, wait. Oh shoot, let me scoot over real quick so I can get perfectly lined up for this. I'm just like, God. Dang it, man! That was like at that was after that. I was like, nah, never again. <laughs> yeah, to me, like, yeah. yeah, at some point you can't keep using the same type of moves or the same type of like situations in in those type of matches. Like, somebody got to get extra creative and be like, we got to do something different. It's that's been done too yeah. many times. I can understand if it's like your signature move, like the stunner. It makes sense. It's easy. It's quick. It looks devastating. But if it's something where it has a lot of setup and it can only happen if a bunch of guys are there, it's like that just looks dumb. Kind of reminds me of that time Roman Reigns got jumped by 20 guys and then he had like a power up moment like it was in Dragon Ball and everybody flew back. (laughs) I have to show you that moment. I have to. Yeah, I'm trying to remember that one. It was one of when Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns were about to get into a fight. Oh man. Mm-hmm.